Thank you for choosing Channel 3 for your news. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. This morning, the Chat City Suites Motel held a housing fair along with 18 organizations hoping to find residents some permanent housing. Well, recently, the general manager at the Extended Stay Motel told residents they must be out of their rooms by the end of this month. Channel 3's Casey Freeman has more about the sudden changes. Residents were faced with this notice to be out of their rooms, but now the general manager of Chat City Suites, Joyce Woodard, is doing everything in her power to give her residents some permanent housing options. Valerie Roosh moved into Chat City Suites about eight months ago. During the week of Christmas, Roosh not only found out she had to find a new place to stay, but she also lost her job. I mean, like, now I don't have a job, and now, you know, we're having to move here, so I don't have all the answers. But I know that Jesus does. So in less than a month, the long term stay hotel will be closing. Roosh and almost 200 other residents are now looking for more permanent housing options. She says getting qualified for a place to live can be difficult because like maybe they can't. They don't have credit to get the lights and the water and everything else. Here is just one step and everything's done. Teresa Biggs is one of the counselors working to get people on the waiting list for public housing. She says the process is about understanding a person's needs. What can they afford? What are they looking to do? Because right now they're pretty anxious. So, um, you know, I'm hoping to help. There's no estimate on how long the housing waiting list is, but that doesn't stop Biggs from ending each session with a prayer, hopeful that residents will find permanent housing or at least somewhere to stay while they wait. Um, you know, do they have alternative places to go? You know, do they have family? Is there somewhere they can be? Because there is no such thing as immediate emergency housing. Sunbest Management, who owns Chat City Suites, sold the property years ago. That's why it's unclear what's next for the property. In Chattanooga, Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.